What's up people, Gotham Paladin here, and today I got a video for you guys about Batman Arkham Knight. With the release of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League coming out soon, I wanted to make a ton of videos about the Arkham games, because I think there's so much to discuss and so much lore to be told, and it's so fun to make. Today I'm going to talk about Lex Luthor's role in Arkham Knight, or his story that we got a little bit about in the game. Lex Luthor is one of the smartest and most evilest minds in the DC Universe, and we actually get to learn quite a bit about him in Arkham Knight, more than you may realize. Now keep in mind what I say in this video is what I believe Lex Luthor's motivations are in this game, and why he does what he does. None of it's confirmed or anything, but there's a lot of evidence, I feel, to warrant a video to create discussion and see what other people think about as well. Please let me know what you think in the comments, because I love these type of videos and I love these type of discussions, and I want to see what you guys think about my idea as well. So Lex Luthor, right? Potentially plays a big role as to why the events of Arkham Knight happens. So to start off, according to some of the Arkham Knight's militia, there's a rumor that Lex Luthor actually assisted in funding the Arkham Knight's plan. Lex Luthor's got a building somewhere around here, right? Yeah, over by the plaza. You know, there's rumors he might have put some money into this. That ain't hard to imagine. He's had his eyes on this city for a while. If he gets rid of Batman, he's still got Bruce Wayne to worry about. Ooh, terrifying. Now, this is really interesting to think about, and I think it fits perfectly within Lex Luthor's character to do so. Uh, but the question is, why would Lex do this? He wouldn't just simply assist in taking out Batman and ruining Gotham for no reason, right? He has to have his own reasons in mind. So, fortunately, we got more info as to what his motivations may be in the game. We actually learned that Lex Luthor's trying to potentially run for president just like the comic books based off these goons' conversations. I'm just saying, if he runs, he's got my vote. Look, Luther's not running. And if he was, you really want some billionaire geek in charge? Uh, he said the right thing about, you know, those meta-human types. Let's not mix work and politics, okay? And based off this conversation, we know that he's downplaying meta-humans, which we can infer that he may be trying to outlaw them, something along those lines. Again, that's all speculation, but... It is what I believe, and it makes sense for Lex Luthor's character, right? Luthor also does become president in the comics, like I said, so we'll see how that plays out in the Arkhamverse, should they push that story further. But aside from that, I believe Lex Luthor is using the Arkham Knight's plan as an opportunity to take over Gotham and Bruce Wayne's Applied Sciences division, alright? And why, you may ask? Well, aside from the new LexCorp building on Founders Island that we can go to in the game, we get this voicemail from Lex Luthor himself on Bruce Wayne's line. Mr. Wayne, Lex Luthor calling. Apologies for going via your direct line, but I grow tired of these games. LexCorp has made a very generous offer for Wayne Tech's Applied Sciences Division, yet your persistent unavailability begins to look less like a busy schedule and more like deliberately antagonistic behavior. Come now, meet with me. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. A man of your refined taste doesn't need an applied sciences division after all. He needs another billion dollars. So, what I believe Lex Luthor is trying to do is use the Arkham Knight's plan to get rid of Batman, and with Batman out of the way, he may feel more comfortable making the move to Gotham and try and get Bruce Wayne out of the way as well. He obviously doesn't know that Batman is Bruce Wayne, so from his perspective it may be easier just to get in contact with Bruce after the Arkham Knight kills Batman. Because as we saw, Bruce isn't answering Luthor's calls. Bruce knows better than to give Lex his applied sciences division, I'm sure. Lex Luthor most likely wants this because he likely knows that Wayne Tech could benefit him greatly. And if Bruce Wayne does die during the events of Arkham Knight, it makes it a lot easier for Lex to get his hands on the applied sciences division for his own potentially malicious deeds. It seems that Lex is trying to expand his business and potentially run for president, and it looks like he's seizing all chances of taking out other superheroes as well that can potentially get in his way, like Batman. It seems that he's frustrated because Bruce is ignoring his calls, so he's using all the chances he can to get in contact with him. And if this is one, then so be it. It's really interesting to see how much story they gave Lex in such subtle conversations and easter eggs here that it actually just created full kind of narrative for him I think we'll learn more for sure about him in Rockstay's new game, but for the time being, there's a lot here to discuss. 
but yes, like in summary, I think Lex Luthor is using the Arkham Knight's plan as an opportunity to get rid of Batman and potentially Bruce Wayne, getting his hands on the Applied Sciences Division while also expanding his business and reach in Gotham City, presumably using the Applied Sciences Division for his own malicious needs. And as an end goal, he's trying to become president because as president, he can potentially outlaw metahumans like his arch nemesis, Superman. I thought it was really interesting the story they gave Lex Luthor here. You know, you can play the whole game without seeing any of this stuff, but the more you dig deeper into the game and all the puzzle pieces you fit together, you can kind of create your own story as to why Lex Luthor does what he does in this game. And who knows, without his funding and assistance, the Arkham Knight may have had to have a different plan of going about killing Batman, which is really interesting to think about, you know, at least for me. Um, let me know what you guys think, though. I actually really would love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, people.